Hey guys, before you watch this video, make sure you smash that like button and smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. And before you get into this video, make sure you watch until the end, because near the end, we have a very big announcement. And you definitely don't want to miss it. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We are actually cooking a delicious dinner, hopefully delicious, <laughs> for a friend of mine who's a single mom and has two tween daughters. Maya, what are you adding now? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Maya is supposed to be adding four tablespoons. I think there might be five and a half. But or like she's kind of eyeballing. Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining us today. Today we are in the kitchen and we're gonna be doing some cooking. Now something that we started in our family, geez, probably about six months ago, is that each of the girls take at least one night per week and they cook dinner for the family. The girls are looking through our recipe book. Tell us about the book, Addie, and how it works. So basically once, one night every week, uh, we cook a dinner for the family and we print out the recipe and put it in our family recipe book. So we've basically been working on creating this giant recipe book of a lot of recipes, main courses, side dishes, and desserts that the kids know how to make on their own. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We are actually cooking a delicious dinner, hopefully delicious, <laughs> for a friend of mine who is a single mom and has two tween daughters. A lot of you might know that we have a big heart for foster care, but we also have a really big heart for single moms. And we just want to bless this mom and her daughters with a good meal because we realize that single moms carry a heavy load. They carry a lot of weight throughout their day and we're just hoping that this can be a small blessing on their day. Maya, what are we making for their meal? We're making turkey zucchini chili, cornbread, and mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, and we're making like cookies. These are actually some of our very favorite family recipes. We make this turkey zucchini chili and cornbread probably at least once a month, and the dessert is one of our family favorites as well. So if you want to try these recipes that we are making today, we're going to put links to the recipes in the description box so you can make them yourselves and let us know what you think of them. What are we making first? So we're making the dessert first, and you know, we doubled the recipe so like we can have some too, because it's always fun to like cook and munch on some cookies too, so you know. We know these cookies as peanut butter fudgies. My mom made these for me when I was a little kid. I bet a lot of you make them in your house as well too. They're also known as chocolate drop cookies or no-bake cookies, and they are delicious. Just sing, Maya. <laughs> Be your musical talented <laughs> self. <laughs> What song are you singing? Thunder. Because? It's storming. It's thundering outside. Boom. Addie is finishing up the cookies and my job right now is to be the taste tester and just make sure that they taste okay before we send them off. You know, you'd hate to send a bad cookie to somebody. Dessert is officially finished, and now we're moving on to the main course, the turkey zucchini chili. This one requires a decent amount of prep work, so we're gonna spend some time getting all organized before we actually begin cooking. Zucchini. I always try to teach the kids to clean up as we go, so as we cook, we try to get the dishes clean, the pots and pans clean, wipe down counters, put away ingredients, that way we don't have a big mess to deal with at the end. Oh gosh, this is fun. Yeah, you, you want to do the rest. <laughs> this is already hurting my arm. You're getting an arm workout while you cook, Addy. No. <laughs> this is like heavy turkey. We're learning that Maya is an eyeball cook, meaning she kind of just eyeballs the amount she put in, while well, Addie is a very strict recipe follower. Maya is supposed to be adding four tablespoons. I think it might be five and a half or like She's kind of eyeballing it. I and think Addie's kind of getting 
a little yeah. worried about it. So I am like really worried when the measurements are eyeballed or like inaccurate, but yet I somehow managed to mess up a recipe like every time I cook. Even though you measure it accurately. I try to. <laughs> Maya, what are you adding now? It's okay. <laughs> it's tomato paste, what you just said. Okay, we're good. <laughs> While our chili is simmering on the stovetop, I want to take a quick moment to talk to any single moms or dads who may be in the room watching with your kiddos. First of all, I just want to let you know that you are seen by us, that we are just so appreciative of the weight that you carry with you each and every day. And I also just want to share some resources with you. One of my best friends leads a ministry called Plus One Parents. I'm actually on the board of this ministry. Um, she has a podcast called the Christian Single Moms Podcast that I would encourage you to check out because I know it is a blessing to so many people. She also has a new book that was just released on Amazon. It is called Made for More, and it's a Bible study experience for single moms or really just for anyone whose life is turning out maybe different from how you expected it to be. So I hope these ministry, this ministry and that these resources are a blessing to you and just know that you are seen and we just love the way that all of you give yourself so tirelessly to love on your children. Time to put the zucchinis and the chili and then after that we just let it simmer and it'll be done. Bad feeling about this. <laughs> <laughs> overboard. <laughs> You're doing fine. <laughs> They're all going overboard. All right, Maya, mm -hmm. we have mac and cheese and cornbread left. What one are we going to do next? Your choice. Cornbread. So, Addie, you've made this recipe before. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the first time you made it. So, as much as we all love the cornbread, the first time I made it and started off. Horribly. So um, we didn't read the notes that says important in bold letters on the very back. And it says, only use one teaspoon of baking powder. Your cake will overflow the pan if you use two teaspoons. Well, on the front of it, it says use two teaspoons. Well, we adjusted the size mm -hmm. and didn't follow the directions for yeah. adjusting the size of pans. So we used two teaspoons instead of one. So it like completely exploded over, it like started like flowing over the pan, it got, it exploded all over, all over the bottom of the oven, and we walked in the kitchen to check on it, and it smelled like something was burning. So we're like, oh, this isn't good. So we open the oven, and like a bunch of smoke comes out of the oven, and we have to like open all the windows in our living room and stuff, because there's just smoke everywhere. But you know, once it, over, once it was done overflowing, and it was actually cooked, it still tasted fine. We just had a very dirty oven that we had to work with a couple days to get it cleaned up. But all is good now. We're gonna cook it or bake it just perfectly today. Uh, we hope. <laughs> no repeat Hopefully. disasters. Yes. Maya's in charge of the baking powder. So if this messes we up, it's her fault. We can't eyeball it today. <laughs> if this <laughs> messes up, it's her fault. <laughs> I've never had someone who knows me like you do, the way you do. do you do. can't bake or cook in the kitchen without some good music, a little singing, and a little dancing. Come on, Naya. Let's see your moves. Let's see your moves. I should have been wearing an apron because I got chili on my shirt. Oh no! Perfect egg cracks, not a single shell. This stage of the cornbread doesn't look ap very appetizing, so you know, I'm being told that it comes together, and I really hope it does, because it, this is it not- It does! You've made this many times. It but comes together. This, the, I, it looks like someone threw up in a bowl and I'm stirring it. Oh goodness. 
Our cornbread is in the oven, and while it's baking, we have some pretty exciting news we wanted to share with you. What are we bringing back, Addy? We are bringing back cameos, and that is kind of like a personalized video from us to you. Right, you can go to the Cameo website, or I believe they have an app, and order a video that we will put together for you, for your child, and all the proceeds from this video is going to go to Plus One Parents so we can help raise some money to support more single moms and single dads out there who are working so hard each and every day to love on their family. Now Maya, what are some things that people might order a video for? Like what occasions? Well, sometimes for their birthday or for holidays or really... Or even the just, end of the school year, congratulating yeah. your kid on just a great year of third grade or fifth grade or first grade or whatever grade they are graduating from. So we're only going to be doing this for a short amount of time. So if you want to take advantage of it, now's the time. Even if you have um, a birthday coming up in October for your kid, you might want to go ahead and order it now because it's just going to be around for a limited time. Every single penny that we make is going to go to support single parents because we love all of you out there and we just want to find more ways to bless all of our single parent friends. It's mac and cheese time. The mac and cheese recipe that we're making is super duper easy. It's pretty quick and it involves the Instant Pot. I'll admit it took me a long time to get on board with the whole Instant Pot trend. I'm probably like, three or four years behind the trend, but now that I know how to use it, I love my Instant Pot. <laughs> I'm scared, just do it. You got it, you got it, you're good. Whoa, Whoa I think half of it went on the floor. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Ooh, the cornbread is done. Cornbread. That looks good. It looks so delicious. And you know what? I think we got the baking powder right again. Yay! It didn't explode everywhere. That's a win in yeah. itself. Well, the Instant Pot is preheating, but this little thing off of the little steamer part so I'm a little bit worried there's a lot of steam coming out and I don't think there's supposed to be a lot of steam coming out when it's preheating so I'm hoping this works out we're still in the preheating stage and I really need it to pressurize so it moves over here to the cooking stage I feel like I was just telling you guys how I finally got comfortable with the instant pot and now I have a feeling it's all gonna go horribly wrong today right now No, I got a burn message, girls. Oh, this is not good. Oh, I don't know. What it happened? Looks it looks fine. Let's see. It's not stirring, though. Yeah, we this did started. not go as planned. It's really, like, stuck to the bottom. We start it. And we put the butter on. Oh, it's smoky there. There's the burn chunk. So this is a bummer. Everything was going so well. We had mm -hmm. three out of f the four recipes, like flawless. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I might have to be in my so instant well. pot. I might go back. No more instant pot. I'm done with them. I'm done with them. Ugh. Okay. So we got to remedy this. I think we're just gonna have to make it on the stove top. Good old fashioned way. Yeah. Stove mm -hmm. top. This so much more work. <laughs> we can do it. We can do it. I'm not giving up on mac and cheese. Luckily, we bought enough stuff to make them dinner and make us dinner. So luckily, we have a bit for them left. Yes, we have enough for a whole second batch. Yes. Yes. So since we were planning to double all these recipes, so we're providing them with dinner and ourselves with dinner, we will just gladly give them our portion of mac and cheese so that they can have it with their dinner. The reason we love this mac and cheese recipe is because it's really super creamy. So even when you stick it in the fridge and reheat it later, it's still creamy. There's a lot of liquid to it. And I just love creamy mac and cheese. I've we've tried so many recipes where you like bake mac and cheese and you just lose the creaminess that way. So this is definitely our favorite. And if you don't have time to make creamy mac and cheese like this, I definitely recommend Panera mac and cheese. It's so good and I love the creaminess of it. Yes, Panera bread, yum. Mm -hmm. We're improvising here, turning this Instant Pot recipe into a stove top recipe, so mm -hmm. just doing a lot of stirring and hope we get the cheese to melt. Yep. I think we'll get it. We'll get it eventually. <laughs> May take a little time though. This looks so good. 
It sure does. Oh. Now I know it probably looks really liquidy and runny on camera, but I promise you it thickens to perfection. <laughs> well, I think the girls may have stolen a teensy bit of the mac and cheese, but don't worry, we still have plenty to share. Mm -hmm. Now girls, we made a lot today. We made what? We made the turkey, zucchini, chili, cornbread, 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 cornbread mac and cheese. Yes, and we are so honored that we get to bless this single mama tonight and her two children. We encourage you guys, please follow Plus One Parents on Instagram. Check out Michelle Donnelly's new book called Made For More. And if you haven't already done so, go check out the Christian Single Moms podcast. We think it's all gonna bless you. All right, girls, what do we tell our viewers? XOXO, bye! Bye, guys!